reprogramming the subconscious means conscious mind wishes and desires subconscious mind program well what if you took the wishes and desires and made those programs ah huh? then guess what you don't even have to think about it you will automatically 95 percent of the day be playing behaviors to manifest those wishes and desires so if you put a pair of earphones on at night with a program of what you would like to be true in your life. As soon as your conscious mind disconnects, that program is playing. It's not playing into your conscious mind, that's shut off. It's now going straight into the subconscious mind. Having a positive thought does not in any way necessitate that those positive thoughts actually manifest themselves. And there's a piece that was left out. And if you don't understand the piece, then you're shouting into the wind with your positive thoughts. Nothing's going to happen. And the fact is this, when you're having positive thoughts, you're using your mind. The mind influences biology, but there are two parts to the mind that are completely different than one another, yet they work together, we confuse them, we tie them together, and yet they represent two entities working in two different fashions. There's the conscious mind and what is called the subconscious mind. Now, here's what the very important people have to know this, okay, and here's what it is. The conscious mind is our creative mind that is connected to our personal identity and our spiritual selves. That's, that makes us all unique. Our, our, each of us has our own personal conscious mind. But what becomes very significant is this, is the subconscious mind is equivalent to a tape player. It's exactly what it is. It records experiences and then plays them back. And, and so now let's take a look and say, well, wait, there's a thinking mind and then there's a tape player mind. And what's different about them is very profound. When you look at the power between the conscious and subconscious, the subconscious is a million times more powerful. The subconscious mind runs our biology about 95 to 99 percent of the time. So while you're having all these wonderful thoughts, that's not the conscious. The conscious mind's not running the show. It's a subconscious mind. So blaming the subconscious mind as a negative thing is that's the first mistake. It's a tape player. The programs that we got. That's the source of the problems that most of us face. And that these programs could limit our abilities and take away our powers, which essentially they do. Now, the relevance about positive thinking is this. Positive thinking is a creative thought that comes from the conscious mind. Okay, so I sit here and I'm gonna have all these wonderful thoughts. I'm gonna close my eyes and visualize all these wonderful things. Now stop and go back to the, to the, the mechanical character of it. A, I'm having these thoughts with a little tiny processor called the conscious mind and I'm competing with the programs that are in the subconscious mind. So if I have a thought for uh, being, being healthy or being in a good relationship and I'm doing positive thinking and at the same time I have acquired programs in my development that said you're not as healthy as you think you are and you, you're not that good a person to have those kind of relationships then look I'm now pitting my positive thoughts against my programs and, and, they're, and they're opposite. But this one works on a little, little tiny processor and this processor is a million times more powerful. So right away it's like, who's going to win in that challenge? The answer, of course the subconscious is going to win, okay? But here comes the other part. While I can try to maintain positive thoughts in my life using my conscious mind, this conscious mind only operates less than 5% of the day. That says 95% or more of the day, I'm operating from the other belief system. The point is, do the math. How powerful are positive thoughts? And the answer is, unless the subconscious has the same programs and agreement as the conscious mind, power of positive thinking will not work. It will not work because you're competing against a much more powerful processor. So the idea is, when life doesn't work, when you don't find that relationship that your positive thinking was looking for, when you don't uh, get that health that you were looking for because your positive thinking was asking for it, we have a tendency therefore to blame the outside world because as far as I know, my intention was for all these wonderful things. And when I don't get it, it can't be me because I have all these wonderful positive intentions. What we didn't see was while we were having those positive intentions, using our conscious mind for those positive intentions, the subconscious was running the show and we didn't see that we generally sabotage and destroy or limit our own lives with behaviors that are not supporting us every night when you go to bed just when you're just falling off into sleep consciousness is disconnecting 
the next period of your brain operation while your consciousness is disconnected is theta, which is the same brain function as in the first seven years. So if you put a pair of earphones on at night with a program of what you would like to be true in your life, as soon as your conscious mind disconnects, that program is playing. It's not playing into your conscious mind, that's shut off. It's now going straight into the subconscious mind. So it's called auto hypnosis. You don't need to go see a, a hypnotherapist. You, you just have to pick out what program would you like to have that you don't have. And they sell these programs at all kinds of places. Okay. So reprogramming the subconscious with wishes and desires means you don't even have to think about it. You will be successful because 95% of the day, your program automatically will be seeking your wishes.